All right, so good morning, everybody. So today is the Daf Memtes. Oh, it's Tessie. And, and Tessie, wow. the Sakas uh, Gittin. So we, we began the uh, okay. the fifth pair of uh, Hanizakin. So we ended off with a punchline yesterday as to we had a question of what kind of Tikkun Oilam, according to Rabbi Shmel, is if we say that by damages that he has to pay with his best property. Well, that's what he holds Midorais. So where's Tikkun Oilam? So we said the bottom line, El Mar Vaacha Bar Yaakov, Hacha Bar Yaskina, and we're going to Haisa Idis the Nizak, because he borrows the Mazak. In other words, over here we're talking about that the damager, the, the person whose field was damaged, he's a poor guy. So the guy who, who, you know, who damaged him is rich. So you could just say, okay, I'll give you my worst field, which would now be your choicest field. But in such a case, right, uh, in such a case, Rabbi Shemal suffered, but the uh, Nizak Shaimina, right? He says, no, the, by the damage of Rabbi Kiva suffered, the Mazik Shaimina. Right, and over there with the Mazik Shaimina, and when we go according to the damager, his deaths, uh, and, and so Rabbi Shemal says, uh, but the Nizak Shaimina, Rabbi Kiva, and Rabbi Kiva suffered, the Mazik Shaimina. My time, the Rabbi Shmuel. Nemra. So, what is the reason according to Rabbi Shmuel? It says Nemra sada lemat of Nemra sada lemal. It says sada in the pasuk twice, right? When a person damages, right? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, ish sada okay, right? You know, as we, he damages someone's field, and then he says he pays the mate of sadehu. Says the word sada again. So ma sada hamar lemal of the nizak, the field, the one that was damaged. We're talking about whose field? The field of the nizak. The damage, right? So too with the payment, uh, uh, the, uh, the nizak. So to the pay, uh, so so the payment also has to go also go ahead the and be that of the nizak according to his best lands. He the southern no mate of sadei yishalim. I mean, what does it mean when it says mate of sadei yishalim? The heich the heich to come shall right. There is he who was one who damaged. He is the one who makes the payment. Rabbi Shmuel, a honey, zero shava, honey, crop. And Rabbi Shmuel, let's say with the Pasuk, it says the zero shava works. And the Pasuk also, Basha, try the Gomorrah. What do you mean? Zero shava, Kadabra. Zero shava, like you said, the word Sada to teach, how we're talking about the Edis of the um, uh, uh, um, of the, of the damage, right? And a honey, crop. And then the Pasuk says, Danica, the Isle, the Mazik, Edis, Visiboris, right? And then the pasuk comes to us that if the uh, uh, that if the mazik has idis and ziboris, the ziboris the day lo shavik idis the nizak. In other words, basically the best of the, the person who was injured, his field was like in the middle, so he can go a level up or level down. The v'shalayim meitiv. In such a case, he goes ahead and he pays from the meitiv from the from the better one. So therefore, that according to Rabbi the pasuk is coming to teach you that in that case where. Uh, you know, the, his worst field is not the same as the best field. Therefore, he goes ahead and he, uh, he pays the best field. Thank you. And Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva says, mm-hmm. And Rabbi Kiva says, right, we saw this earlier, that the pasta is coming to teach you that, no, even the Raisa, mm-hmm. we pay Right, the uh, the nizikin from the from the better one, but kavachaymer the hektish. It's certain it's a kavachaymer the hektish. So my kavachaymer the hektish. What's the kavachaymer for hektish? E lema the nachi torah the don't torah the hektish. If you say that the kavachaymer is working, that if our one of our shores goes ahead and damages the shore of hektish, so shore e ravachon. The Torah says you have to go ahead when your your ox scores your fellow man's uh, ox. Below shore shall hektish. And you never pay for a shore the owned by Hekdash. So it can't be referring to that. Elaimer, rather it says, Harelai, what does it mean for for uh Hekdash is the same as the Kavachar Hekdash that you pay from Edis? Maybe it means like this. The person says, I'm gonna go ahead and donate the Bedaka bias. And he doesn't pay. Does he gives Barba Shakum Edis? He takes he 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 slants. But if that's the case, the Rebbe Kiva is saying that um, that there's a kavah chaimet the hektish that you 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 collect from this is talking about an unpaid pledge. Though the, the gizbar now is really only a balchol, like a person's owed, 
And we saw earlier, and a Balchov, a creditor, that halacha is Bainanis, not Edis, not the type of land. So, and if you want to say, okay, a Balchov also goes ahead and takes uh, Edis, you can argue, so Balchov is, is better than Hektish, right? Why? Because we know by Benzikin he takes uh, Edis. But because of the hektesh, they don't collect anything when it comes to a shore. So you can't have a kavachaymer from balchov to hektesh because you might even say that there's more of a reason to pay the balchov than hektesh. So says, Really, we're talking about the kavachaymer is when one of a, a regular person's shore or is that of hektesh and he has to go ahead and pay Edis. If a shore of Hektish gores a regular person's shore, he's part of a pain. If a regular person, one of his shores gores that of Hektish, then Bain Tam, Bain Lemuad, right by Bain Tam, when you pay Chati Nezek, Muad, when you pay Nezek Shalim. Meshalim Nezek Shalom. You always pay Nezek Shalom Hakdish. So there is a sheet. It's not the only one we saw that says Shoriyehu below Shor Shalakdish. It could even be according to Shem Ben Asya. See, Hachi, if that's the Machlokas over here, see, my the Beit is the Nizak with the Bars the Masik. Pligi, who says then this whole Machlokas in the Brice that we first brought yesterday in the Gemara was the Machlokas of. When the when the the best land of the edus was the same as the lower land of the damager, and that was the machlokas between in that brisa and the raisa between uh, Rabbi Shmuel and Rabbi Kiva. Maybe everyone agrees that we go according to the level of the nizak, and therefore, really, you only have to pay the lower land, right? The hacha of the that are shemim and asim, but rabbanu can be forgiven. The machlokas is only the, the machlokas is only by the case. Of, of hektish, completely. So the Rabbi Kiva said, "Like Hashem Manasseh, Rabbi Kiva holds Hashem Manasseh that you go ahead and you pay the better." And Rabbi Shmuel said, "Like Rabbi Shmuel, that you you don't pay." So Gemara says, "In Cain, my lobal kasev, this brisa doesn't make any sense, right? If we're talking about hektish. What does mean lobal kasev? El legavos the zikim in the edus. Why is Rabbi Kiva responding that way? Oh, my kavod chaim of the hektish. Also, how do you read the next time? What's this kavod chaim of the hektish? The oath, and furthermore." That if you're saying they don't argue in this case, that's not true. We have a fair shabrisa. Behold, Ravashi. Ravashi says, Tanya Behedya. We have a price that explicitly states the top of Mem Tesema days. Native soda, native karma you shall. The Pasuk says, for the, for the better fields and the better vineyards you shall pay. Native soda, shall nizak, or native karma shall nizak. The Rabbi Shah says, Rabbi Shah, we go according to the levels of the person. Who was damaged, and therefore you'd only pay midoraisa. In this case, you you since the mazik is very rich, he can only you know, he can give away his ziboris. And Rabbi Kiva, I may know, make him say, "Don't make him shal mazik, or make him kama shal mazik." It means that the damager, if he's very rich and he inj- and he damages for a poor person, he doesn't pay, so we collect the his fields. So therefore, we see clearly that that is the machlokas over there. So they do uh, talk, uh, uh, argue uh, midoraisa whether the nizak shayminan or the mazik shayminan, right? In a case of where the mazik is very rich, uh, and then furthermore, they also argue in a case of hektish as to whether one goes ahead and pays for a rebbe kibbutz olig shemimnasya that you do go ahead and you pay um, uh, hektish if you damage their shore. Period. Now. Going back to our Mishnah, our Mishnah says, right, hey, what do you mean, Tigan Oilam, that the, 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 the Nizak pays from the Edis? What's the Tigan Oilam there? Bacharis Daraisa, right? That you made it so there. So, Ravina Omar, Liyelam Asnis Rebbe Kivi, really the Mishnah is Rebbe Kiva. Hudamar, Midaraisa, Damazik Shaimina. And when a person damages and he doesn't pay, and we go ahead and collect, you take the, you pay from the choiciest lands. And if that's the case, that's the Medoraisa. So what is the Tikkun Oilam that the Mishnah is talking about? The Rabbi Shimoni, and therefore it goes according to the sheet of Rabbi Shimon, the Darish Tam and the Krupp. Really, the whole Tikkun Oilam is not necessarily, it wasn't stated by the Rabbanan. It's really a Doraisa. What Rabbi Shimon does is oftentimes the Pasuk gives reason, right? In other words, 
my time come out, all right? In other words, that's what the the, 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 the possibility of the reason. My time the Haniza Shamina Labidis. What's the reason why the Torah requires the uh, the person, the rich person, not to get away with giving his poor land, but he has to go ahead and give his better lands? Because of Tikan Ailam. Because of Tikan Ailam, that's the reason why the Torah states that the, the, the damager pays because the damager, we don't want the damagers to go ahead and you know damage fields and get away with you know giving up his uh, cheap fields. The Tidus Lenar Bryce, I don't know if name Manuel Hanizak and Shemin Landa Idis. What is the reason why we say that pre, the, 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 the uh, damages we go according to the Edis? Because of thieves and uh, extortioners, right? You know, extortioners. Why? What's, what's the point to be going ahead and steal or you know or, or, or uh, you know extorting somebody? Tomorrow, basically, we'll come and get you know we'll take my best field. So in order to deter Gazlanim. And Hamsan and people cause, uh, cause damage, therefore they're not going to go ahead and cause damage to others. The same chima mashi goes with Taira, made them sit up, made them karma yishali. Right? And therefore they're going to, because they're going to use the pasik, take away our best fields, because they use the pasik of made them sit up, made them karma yishali. Fika klefer, amra hanizakin, shaman lahem be idis. And therefore we say that those who are damaged, they pay be idis. Uh, fine. So what's the reason? That was the edis. Edis is because we don't want people going out and causing damage. The pasuk has stated the pasuk you have to pay from their best. Therefore, we will deter people from causing damage to others. And what's the reason? What's the reason why we state that a balchov that he only pays with the middle? Because if you have to go ahead and repay with his choice, his lands, people would go ahead and see, hey, this person's got a nice field. He's uh, he's not so liquid, right? The deer and is a nice house. The yeah, Mary, I'll say, I'm going to go ahead and lend the money. I know he's going to blow through the cash. And when I collect it, I'm going to go ahead and take his house or I'm going to seize his uh, nice field. Therefore, we say, therefore, we say he's not allowed to go ahead and take the... Um, the 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 choicest fields for mm-hmm. the days. Yeah. yeah. So we don't allow to take the choicest fields, so people won't lend in order to seize it. We said take venus. So let me out if that's the case. Yeah, busy bars. Let them take the worst land. Same okay, not to know you'll with life. Then you'll basically close the door on lenders, right? If you think you know the lenders market's hard, you know, wait till it's you know they can only seize your worst assets, then no one's gonna lend money. And the third case was Ksubas Isha Bizibotis, a woman's uh, Ksuba, right? It has collected, that is collected uh, with the worst lands. Diga Rabbi Huda says, Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Meir, Aymer, Rabbi Meir says, Venus. Rabbi Meir says, the, uh, you take uh, the middle ground, the middle ones. So Amru Shemini Vema, Amru Ksubas Isha Bizibotis. What's the reason why Rabbi Huda says, Ksubas Isha Bizibotis? Shiyaisi Bimasha Ish Reitz Elisa. Uh, more than a man wants to get married, a woman wants to get married. Therefore, we'll tell the woman, hey, you can get married, but in case you have to go ahead and call your ksuba, you're only going to get the worst lands. And she'll say, I want to get married anyways. A guy, if he had to pay better lands, he's like, eh, I don't know about this. And then it throws in Dabar A woman can get uh, divorced, right? Uh, uh, with her will, either uh, with her will or against her will. And the man only basically gets divorced if he wants to. He doesn't, he can't be forced to get divorced as opposed to a woman. We could force her to go ahead and accept again. Why is that good reason? Which which reason? This last reason. Hmm. The is explained right now. So my Dabaracher, Eddie's question, what is this? What is, what's this reasoning? So Maybe when he wants to go ahead and just throw her out of the house, so the Rabban say she's not so easy um, to go ahead and get divorced. You're gonna have to go ahead and pay her off. So, I'm sorry. With right, so so or in general, 
So he is Mugus Far. As those Kinafka e Nami, when she basically is acting, but basically forcing his hand to divorce her, Nami leads to the Rabbana Ksuba Mina uh Mina. Let's go ahead and give her Ksuba. In other words, if she's the one who wants to divorce, let's have her pay to get out. So Tashma, come on, listen. Isha Yaitza uh Isha Yatza Ritsana, Shall Ritsana. Now, we don't institute a ksuba from her to him. Why? Because a man can go ahead and divorce the other party, i.e. the woman, against her will. So there, whether she wants or not. So therefore, he'll have to pay. Uh, uh, but him... Uh, 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 no. So after the Bashi Gita... But in the other case, right, when she's acting bad and we're saying that he's going to go ahead and have to pay... Well, he'll never pay, right? He'll just make her wait it out, right? He'll make her wait it out or change her behavior in order that he doesn't have to go ahead and divorce her. Now, so she could be forced to divorce. She can be divorced against her will. If that's the case, we should make him pay. But he cannot be divorced against his will, right? And therefore, he's never going to be go ahead and be forced to pay anything, right? So therefore, he'll just you know, wait out until she changes. So therefore, that was the Dabar Acher. The Dabar Acher just meant that we don't institute any payment the other way, only from him to her, because it can be against her will, but it can never be against his will. We'll never get divorced against his will, because he can just go ahead and not give the get. Right? I guess this line does not, uh, you know, uh, work so good um, for all the, uh, the gunas that are, are, you know, are, are going on right now. Fine. Well, that's the point. The point is you don't want to take it high. Right. So if you make it too high, they'll just say, I'm not going to pay. Right. So, but anything else, that's what we said. They're, 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 right. But that's why you want, they want to go to keep the Zibor and Obey only. You're not going to invest. Right. Because you'll never, you'll never get it. Right. Uh -huh. right. But also, the one hand is, you can't force him to do it again. But he, you know, if you say he holds out, he doesn't have to hold out. He could, right, but if it's something that, in other words, that will institute a payment, right, uh, for him to her, I mean, for her to him, right, if she wants to leave, she gives it, well, it's, he doesn't need to, he doesn't need, he doesn't need that, because he doesn't have to divorce her, he'll just wait. I don't think people are afraid he's not going to pay her, I think people are afraid he's not just not going to divorce her. Well, in this case, you know, we're saying that he can't be, how, how, how would a man, the Gemara is holding, how would a man be div divorced against his will? If she just acts wrong, right? Then basically he's forced to go ahead and against his will to divorce her. But, but he can just go ahead and not give it to her and make her wait it out. That's what the Gemara is saying. If she does wrong, she does wrong. She does wrong. No. If she, she does wrong. Oh, so, well, certain things, she right? Yeah, yeah. So right. So, right, certain things. If she makes a nether, she does this. Right, right, yeah, certain things. Yeah, that, she could right. lose it. She could lose it, but not in this case. Right. Now, then we said, Ksubas Isha the Ziboris. So we had uh, Ksubas Isha was Ziboris, and Omar Zutra Breder Nachman, Lo Oman Elam Yasme. We're only talking about when the husband dies and then the Ksubas collected. So the collective from the Yarshan, that is only collected from the Ziboris. About Mine, Dide, but from him, right? The Venus. Then it's the middle one. So me ask me, I understand if you're saying that the whole mission is talking about that when we say Ziboris, it's for the Yisoyimim, right? Then the Ksus Isha is collected from the, the from the Ziboris. It means refer to the, Z, the Ziboris from the husband. But no, when the Mishnah says we collect from the Ziboris, it's only referring to the Yisoyimim. But if it's from the husband, then he gives her Venus. So Gemara says, "Me ask me, Mary Ksubas Isha." If we're, if the Mishnah is talking about the case of Ziflores and referring to these seven, why is Ksubas Isha? I feel it called Mili Nami. Any matter that's collected from orphans from Yisayim, we collect the Ziflores. The Hot Tanan, any from Mina Ksayisam, Elam Mina Ziflores. That's a flat rule. So if you, the Mishnah rule is not coming to tell us that Ksubas Isha is referring to these seven, and that's why it's Ziflores, but for the husband of a divorce, it would be. Beninus. It can't be because it's like every case. El alav mine really means from him that what it's saying is that the husband's payment is beninus. Excuse me, the husband's payment is also ziboris, just like the 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 seven. So Gar says no. The other one, yes, we really talk about the seven. Maybe it's more chiddush by by ksuvas isha. So good eyes. I mean, I'm a shul machina akil be akil rabban gabo. Right? Maybe because right that we wanted to go ahead and allow her. Right to go ahead and you know be uh, you know be you know more favor 
right, in the eyes of the, you know, Meshim uh, Chino, uh, in other words, in, in order to, her to get Meshim Chino, right, I think it was for her to get the, the, the first time. I mean, you see, Raj was like, no, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. In other words, in other words, you might think that right, mm-hmm. that um, mm-hmm. they, they would find you know favor that men, the woman would basically you know they would want to go ahead and marry the men, right? By by the fact that they were you know guaranteed even from the uh, you know that they would they would only go ahead and they would some you know collect more, right? They would collect more, find favor in their eyes. So the Rabban and Gaba never let, and then the Rabbanan were more makel by her, and therefore allow them to go ahead and collect more, right, from Benamis. So Kamash Bulan, that even you say, ma'am, that even in the case of Ksuba, that we're not finding favor for the for the woman, and therefore um, that it's also uh, the Yusemim also pay Zibonus. And I'm a rabbi, Tashma, come and listen. Rabbi Meir, Ksuvas Isha, the Benas. Rabbi Meir says, Ksuvas Isha is Benas. Semi man. So from who? Even when we ask, if it's from the Yusemi, last day, Rabbi Meir. But ah, that's not. Rabbi Meir doesn't hold that. She learned in Mishnah, and from her say, Yusemi, Elam, and Zibaras, that any payment from the Yusemi, Elam, and Zibaras, Elam, mean that. Rather, it must be referring to the husband. Only the, the, the husband also pays uh, Zibaras. So Michlal, the Rabban, and Sari, and Zibaras. So Michlal, and so that's Rabbi Meir. So Michal, the Rabban Sabi Zibaros, right? Uh, low. And therefore the Rabban would say that it's not Zibaros. So Gora says, uh, low. Really, it's from the Yusayim, right? The Shanik says, he's from the Shimkina. No, but here we say, though, that maybe, yes, normally, generally, you always go ahead and collect from the Zibaros. But over here, maybe we would say it's, right, it's a little different. So they're Kamash Mulan. That uh, no, you also go ahead and collect from. Uh, uh, it's, it's also the Zibaris when you collect from the U7. I didn't follow that reason. So it was the same reason we said before. In other words, you might have thought that really it's time of the U7. The U7 is the one with the lower level, and the husband he pays payments. So I, why'd you got to tell me from the U7 you collect Zibaris? You always collect Zibaris, right? So maybe we had to have meaning to think that for the women we find the chain. Therefore, we allow them to go ahead and even collect Benis from the Asylum, Kamash Falan, that they're only going to head and collecting uh, Zibaris from the Asylum, just like any other uh, collection from the Asylum. But, but if the Mishnah says that Exodus Isha is from Zibaris, right? So, so why saying, would we have a Havamina that she could collect from Benin? Because uh, maybe. From, Maybe the Zibar is only coming to the assignment when she collects it after the husband dies. The husband dies, that's when she collects the assignment. From the orphans, she takes the Zibaris. But from a husband, from a divorce, then it would be Benimus. That According to this balance, we keep deflecting. The Gemara keeps deflecting. So I'm going to buy a Toshma come listen. And he's up and shaman the end of Edis. Damages the Edis, about five Benimus, and so is he shaman the Zibaris. Now, it says, oh, there's Susisha from the Zibaris. Now, who are we collecting from? Iman. Who are we collecting from? Ile, let me ask me if it's from the talking about from the assignment that they, we go ahead and collect from the assignment if the husband dies from the Zibaris, my Eric Susisha. Wax of Susisha. I feel like I'm in all other cases, right? El Alab, me nay. Rather, we must be talking about from the husband. It says over there from the husband's Zibaris. So, Ravacha Bar Yaakov, Hakam Askinan, Kigoyan, Shanasa, Ore, Vadiske, Beno, Laval Five, Beno. Luxus Colosso, right? We're talking about a case mm-hmm. um, over here where it doesn't mean right. we're collecting from the either from the, the, the actual person who caused the damage. Rather, the father was responsible even for the case of the damage, right? Or the case of what was the second case of Balkov. He says, okay, I'll pay your if you don't pay it. Or the case of you get married and you don't pay your ksuba, I'll pay your ksuba. And that's what's the talk, and we're talking about when the when the father was the orev to the Nazikin, the Balchov, and the Ksuvah's Isha. And that's what it means in this case. In this case... The father of the husband. Father. Right? The father. father. Died. No, no, the father didn't die. Right? So there's the father, his son. Right? His son's a troublemaker. Right? He, he damaged someone's car. He didn't pay for it. He let money... Oh, he borrowed money, didn't pay back. 
and he, he died, and he left his wife at Tuba, and he the father said he's going to go ahead and, and, and be there. Right. So in the case of the damages, right. we're saying the father the, the father is going to go ahead and pay the edus on behalf of the son. Mm -hmm. In the case of the balchav, he's going to go ahead and pay the uh, the 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 bainus. Right. In the case of, of the Ksuba, he's going to go ahead and pay. Uh, for the the zibaris for the ksuba zisha, right? The high kadina, the high kadina. Each one has his own halacha. Now, it's even in the, in, the, in, the, in the last case, right? He only pays for the zibaris. That so the, now explains. Nizak in the mafo in the case of the nizikin and also bafoiv the mechaim gabu. So those when those are normally collected during the lifetime, right? right? They collect as if the son was alive. As if the son was alive, he would be paying from Edis for damages. If it was a case of Balkhai, he'd be paying for the, the, the Bainimus. So therefore, he collects, right? The person who's collecting collects as if the, the person who caused the damage or, lent, or, or borrowed money from him is alive. However, which is collected, right? After right, the son dies. Normally, standard, who is the one that when you go ahead and you collect the Ksuba from, right? Miyasme, that normally comes from orphans. And orphans, what is their collection status, right? So therefore, he, he can go ahead and, and pay with the lowest lands, just like the normal standard payment of the ksuba after the death of the, uh, of the husband is from the assignment, which is Zibaris. So to over here, the father gets away with using, basically, paying away Zibaris. I but typically the other ksuba loy mishnabe, but so let's go over here and that uh, that the, the the normally an array for ksuba right is not really right is not really mishnabe himself because this is mishnabe himself that we don't care who it's normally uh, uh, collected from. So it's from orphans. Who cares? It's not the situation here. Mara says no. The kabla over here. So then. Um, we're talking about a case of where no he was the kabla. He says even if. Whatever happens to the marriage, he'll pay. So now it's a higher level of, of being an Arif. Normally, an Arif doesn't go ahead and mishtabit himself for a ksuba, but over here, he was a Kabbalah. So, uh, so, um, so, so this works well according to the opinion who holds that a Kabbalah, that even though, right, um, really? that if the, 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 the borrower, right, right, the person, the guarantor, and even though the borrower doesn't have anything, in other words, no one's really in the right mind is going to go ahead and co-sign for something that they know is someone's going to default, right? So it works okay in the case where the guy actually had, right, and therefore he is, he is mechaib himself. Right. But what about the one that says if he has, then he mishtabi. If he doesn't have, then he's not mishtabi. So in this case, he didn't have. So how was the person mechayev himself? The already mechayev himself in order to go ahead and even collect that all. So my equal man, what say? So where it says Maybe he had and it got damaged, right? Uh, you know, by the time they, you know, he died, or since it was a son, so then people are always, you know, they, they would go ahead and be in the Kabul, the, uh, you know, even though it's likelihood that they're going to from them and not the, the, the other side, since it was a son, therefore he would be Mishab and Afshe, and therefore he could go ahead and collect from the father. And if he collects from the father, he only collects on the level of, uh, uh, of Ziboris because that's the normal collection by Exuma Ziboris because it is from Yusan. All right, well, we'll stop here. Shkayach, everybody. Tomorrow, Mr. Shem, we will so continue.